You won the 2010 race here, the 2012 race here. Do we see a 2014 victory this every uh, even years? I hope so. <laughs> um, yeah, like this is my my third time running here, and you know this course has been very kind to me and the city and the people and everything has been amazing. Um, so I'm I'm expecting a similar outcome tomorrow. Now you were on the uh, 2012 London team as well in the 1500 meters, and you've now recently joined the BAA organization, uh, coming into uh, Boston and uh, working with the high performance team, uh, being coached by Terrence Vaughn. Uh, tell us about that experience and that, that change in your career. Yeah, so I'm not actually a part of the BAA team, but I am still coached by Terrence, obviously, and um, you know my teammate Katie Matthews, who is a part of the team, like we still work out together and train together, so. Um, I'm really looking forward to building a new team and, you know, when we moved to England we didn't really have um, as many training partners so I just really like to have the opportunity to get more training partners and um, moving, we moved to Boston in December which probably wasn't the best time <laughs> to move here. It's pretty cold and snowy but um, my teammate Anna Willard and I went to Florida for three weeks so that was a, a good revival. We got our tans back so I think I'll be looking good my uniform around. And uh, uh, in as recent as 2011, you we were ranked number one in the world. As I mentioned, you were at the uh, 2009, the 12 Olympic Games. An unfortunate fall with about a lap to go. You know, how was how it coming off of that experience? I mean, getting to the Olympics myself personally, when I went, I had a broken foot. It's tough. You had that one moment. Tell us about, you know, uh, looking forward to, to the next Olympic Games and trying to maybe, maybe make up for that. Yeah, you know, at this point, you know, it's, it was obviously really um, a terrible moment both years, and, and recovering from that was really hard after the Olympics, especially. But, you know, it's been long enough that, you know, I'm healthy now, and that's what I'm most grateful for, and uh, my training's been going really well. So, um, yeah, it's just about looking forward to the season. Like Molly said, it's kind of an off year, so it's kind of a fun time to, you know, take some risk or chase times and, and just not worry about when you peak. So this year and going forward, you know, um, I am still young enough that I think I have a lot of competitive years left in me, so hopefully a chance at a medal is in my future. So uh, on your bio, it talks about uh, you, know, you attended Cornell, where you're a four-time All-American, but you actually played basketball back in high school. How did you go from basketball to, to, to track? Well, you know, in basketball, you got to have uh, a lot of, I, I think it was best with defense, you know. I could, like, get down the court really fast, but then my coordination maybe wasn't that good. But I actually think that playing sports, you know, I've, I've like spoken to a couple of like young girls and, and you know, they can't decide if they should run or if they should do basketball or soccer or whatever it is. And I really encourage, you know, young people to play as many sports as they can because I think learning those type of hand-eye coordination skills and other sports really helps you in running. Um, even if you are just running in circles, you know, you've got to keep on your feet in these races and being uh, coordinated helps with that. Uh, so yeah, like I, I still, you know, sometimes our team will go out and like play pig or and we'll shoot some hoops sometimes, so I'm not as good as I used to be, but it's still really fun. I don't think there's too many distance runners out there that are very coordinated, that's why we all do <laughs> But it, it's fading as the years go on. Yeah. Thanks.